Hello everyone. This short video is to give you a brief idea about the technique called quantization that follows sampling. Quantization in short, it is a process of discretizing the amplitude of sample waveform into certain levels. In this method, we define certain levels to which the sampled amplitude must, must confine within. There is an example that follows and the idea will be clear for you. Now let's see this example. In this example, we see this waveform x of t. You would notice this as a continuous waveform. Actually, the, it is shown as a continuous waveform for clarity. It is a sample waveform and it has values only at sample points, these black dots, it has only value at those points. So what we do is, we take the value of the signal at that point, here the sample value is around 1.3, around 1.3. If the sample value is between 1 and 2, here the sample value is between 1 and 2, I quantize it into a particular level 1.5. So the quantized sample value is 1.5 and all the values x of t takes that lies between 1 and 2 it will be quantized to a particular value 1.5 it is called a quantization level so here you can see different quantization levels which are marked and each of this quantization levels can take a code number. Here uh, 1.5 has taken the code number 5, 3.5 has taken the code number 7. It is shown here in order. And from 0 to 7 for transmission, for PCM, for pulse coded modulation transmission, we are able to encode these encode these code numbers to binary digits so the variation is from 0 to 7 so we need uh, 3 bits for every symbol to get transmitted thus uh, this transmission occurs so quantization is the process of discreting the signal in amplitude so if the signal takes amplitudes between certain levels it will be quantized to a particular level that is the idea behind the quantization after quantization uh, we have a predetermined code number for each level each quantization level and then this code number will be encoded to a binary data now let us see the motivation behind the non-uniform quantization I already told uh, the motivation behind the uniform quantization. Now, uniform quantization is not very popularly used in practice. A more practical form of quantization is a non-uniform quantization. As an example, let us see speech signal magnitudes relative to the RMS of such magnitudes. So the speech signal intensity is on x-axis and on the vertical y-axis you have the probability that the signal takes those values. You will see that the high probability lies between 0 and 0.5 and between 0 and 0.5 there is concentration of maximum probability. So there is high probability that the signal takes on values between 0 and 0.5. Whereas uh, if you go beyond 1.5 or 2, there is very less probability that the signal takes on such values. So if you set the range of condensation from 0 to 4, it will be very impractical to implement a uniform condensation as the distribution of intensities of waveform of most generally seen waveforms are not really uniform. So there is need for non-uniform quantization. In short, 
we want to have more quantization levels from 0 to 0.5 or 0 to 1 and less quantization level from 1 to the greater magnitudes. So, uh, these values are less likely to occur. So, you need less quantization levels to those. These values are more likely to occur. So, you need more quantization levels here. So, we understood, uh, I think you understood the idea behind non-uniform quantization. By assigning a number of quantization levels at these places, between 0 and 0 0.5, you will be able to attain a better clarity for the signal. Okay. Now, a comparison between uniform and non-uniform quantization. The same signal is shown on the left side as well as the right side, whereas these lines, it will represent the quantization levels. On the left side, you have uniform quantization where, where, where the spacing between each level is the same, is uniform, whereas in right side, you have non-uniform quantization, which has lesser value of quantization levels in smaller amplitudes, whereas the amplitude gets higher. The quantization level, the step size, the value between each quantization level, it becomes bigger and bigger. Thank you so much.